Hey, four, Vince. 458 Talk is He's the, the number. Good, good morning, caller. Who's this? Good morning, Frank Turney here. Hey, Frank. Hey, Frank. Uh, I'll make it short. Uh, mm-hmm. After hearing Ron Paul talk about liberty, uh, there's two people that uh, come to my mind on this airways, and that's you, Aaron, and Josh Bennett. You've been a fresh air for liberty and justice. And what we need in this country is a good old educational revolution, our grade schools, high schools, and civic organizations. Otherwise, we will have a bloody revolution. And thank you for David Giesel. All right. Thank hey, you. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate that. 458 Tonga is the morning. Good, uh, it's the number. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Hey, who is this? This is Randy. It's Randy, Coffee. thanks for calling. Uh, maybe I, I only had a couple of pots. I'm fine. Randy, what's on your mind? Well, uh, Ron Paul had a lot of good things to say, but I don't quite agree with him on his foreign policy Mideast uh, situation. Now, I myself was not anxious back in 2003 for us to invade Iraq and attack Iraq, and I said so on the radio. However, after they started it, you know, I wanted to make uh, lemonade out of lemons and do the best we can, and at this point I'm not in favor of just prematurely shaking out, you know, pulling a rug out from under them. But I think it's important to look at the good things. Uh, Ron Paul seems to just stress the negative, but the fact is our troops are heroes, and they have done good over there. Uh, Saddam Hussein had that country in an, in an iron grip for 24 years. He was a brutal dictator. He killed thousands Randy, of people. Randy, hang on, Randy. Yes. Yeah. Who, who set him up? Who got uh, Saddam in power? Uh-huh. Well, if, I don't think the United States did. He just seemed absolutely, power. Absolutely, absolutely we did. We did. <laughs> absolutely we put him in power. We put him in power, and then we financed his war against Iran. Why do you think Iran hates us? Because we killed millions of Iranians. Millions. The number the number of Iranians killed in the Iran-Iraq war, which, um, contrary to Bill O'Reilly's view of history, was started by Iraq and funded by the United States, which is, that's like clear as day, um, is... It was like four or five times per capita the number of U.S. troops who died in World War II. So we talk about World War II and the sacrifice that our veterans made in that war, and you know, you know, you know, millions died in that war. So the Iran-Iraq War, when if you're Iranian, right, you think from an Iranian nationalist perspective, you have to be sympathetic to that. They think back 20 years to the Iran-Iraq War, where the United States was funding Iraqis to kill them at a rate that was four or five times. The number of troops that died uh, from the U.S. forces in World War II. So we view Hitler and and uh, the Japanese as you know wrong in World War II because they killed all, you know so many of our troops. How do you think Iranians view Iraq and Saddam Hussein, who the U.S. put in power? And well, the I mean, they, they don't matter because they're not Christians, so they're not right. Well, uh, what, whoever, however, if the United States somehow funneled some money to uh, Saddam Hussein and helped him get into power. I'd have to look research that myself. Before yes, you would. That. You would have to research that, yeah, and you would it, have to understand what's going on in foreign countries to make an informed decision about foreign policy. That's not a, a hip viewpoint in America these days. It's like, well, if they look different than us, or if they're in a place that I've never heard of or don't understand the history of, let's just go kill people. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the popular view. But that doesn't make it right. It's not right to kill somebody just because you don't understand their history and you don't know who they are and you don't know what they've actually done. Well, wait, wait. How is it not right? America's been doing that ever since we got here, haven't we? I mean, look at the the history of what we did to the people who were here before um, the white man got here. Right. Well, even the Spaniards, uh, the Spaniards did that. Yeah, right. In, in any but that, event, that doesn't make it right. I mean, it's it's bizarre to argue for a right to life, which is the first three trimesters of of you know when it when a woman's pregnant, and then say in the fourth trimester after they're born, their right to life is gone. You know, how many children have been poisoned by depleted uranium in, in Serbia as a result of uh, the U.S. going in to stop a ethnic cleansing that never happened there? You know, how many how many women and children and, and young boys have died in uh, in bombs in Afghanistan for where they, where they blew up... Um, supposed terrorist transports that weren't terrorist transports and of course it's difficult to know you know when you're over there and you don't you don't understand the people and the history and and who's right and wrong and who's the, who the bad guy is you don't know who you're killing it's the same problem that happened in vietnam 
So we're making murderers out of out of well-meaning troops who are trying to defend this country because our leaders don't understand history and they don't understand the context of the countries they're going into, just like the people who vote for those leaders and the people who advocate war. If you don't understand the history and you don't understand another culture, it is not the right that's not the right basis to go in and start killing people. I want to I want to go back if I may, uh, Dave and Josh, and ask Randy. You said you don't agree with Ron Paul's uh, position on the Middle East. Yeah, because he wants to pull out the rug immediately. I mean, I can understand him not wanting to. What, 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 what rug? What rug, Randy? What rug? Supporting constitutional representative. You, let me, let me tell you something Iraq. about Iraq. Iraq is one of the few nations in the Middle East. It's actually one of, of only two nations in the Middle East to go from a secular government back to a Sharia law government. And do you know, because they're, the Iraqi constitution is based on Sharia law. So, do you know where the Iraqi constitution was written? No. It was written in Washington, D.C. The United Nations and the U.S. crafted that constitution. Yeah. Well, and fact- so, so what rug are you talking about? That's why the Christians have been fleeing Iraq, is because ever since Saddam Hussein was kicked out, they've been feeling the heat in a lot bigger way. And just because it's called a constitution doesn't mean that it's good. They have a constitution, like Dave said, it's based on Sharia law. The word constitution doesn't admit goodness. Hugo our Chavez has a constitution in Venezuela. Our constitution is like no other because our constitution says that a government has no right to do anything, basically. Here is your minimal right to do this or that. And it, all of it is, none of it has anything to do with the liberties of the people. All our federal uh, constitution is about is to regulate some things that states have interacting with each other. And it also ha- has to do with foreign trade. And the biggest thing that we're talking about right now, it has to do with war. You have to, de- Congress has to declare a war, and if you look at the founders, the way they set the thing up, they never wanted us to be in foreign wars. You can't just look at it and say, well, as long as Congress says it's okay, it's a good war, because the founders that wrote the Constitution never implied that we should be in foreign wars, attacking people for no reason. Iraq was not a threat to us, never was. It couldn't be. We are the most powerful country in the world. Hey, I- we can take on the whole world. We don't need to go, and if you don't think... That these guys aren't beating the drum, setting us up to have a war with Iran, you're wrong, because that's exactly what they're trying to do. But Randy, Josh, they're brown. <laughs> Hang on a second. We got, we got all, all the all the lines are on hold. Randy, I really appreciate your call. We can continue this some other time. Let's go on to another call here. Good morning. This is Patriots the Men. Who's this? Yes, this is Allie. Allie, what's on your mind? Oh, you're, you guys are absolutely right. As long as this country keeps on meddling in other people's business, we're going to have the same thing over and over. It's unbelievable to think that... Uh, the Vietnam War, look at that. I mean, all those people wanted was the very same thing that our founding fathers wanted. That was the biggest mistake this country has done in the last century, was to jump into Vietnam, both feet, head first. Uh, in 1945, Ho Chi Minh actually uh, worked with the U.S. trying to get our troops to Burma, showing them the ropes there, How you know, and the only thing he asked of this country was to have President Roosevelt have uh, France give them their independence. All they wanted was their independence. Now, if you look at Vietnam today, they're doing absolutely wonderful. And they didn't turn into communists. It was our own fear that was of, of them becoming communists, that, which was, was all bogus. I mean, that war was... A waste of human life on both sides. Exactly. I mean, we lost 54,000 people. They lost something in the tune of 2 million. Now, Ali, let me ask you something real quick here. When you're calling it a war, and people have been calling it a war, but uh, was, Viet- was our involvement in Vietnam actually a war? As long as people are killing people, you can call it whatever you want. Okay, I, I, just, I just wanted to point out, though, that it wasn't declared. It wasn't. It wasn't declared a war, I mean, as far as that goes, but I mean... Uh, if you declare a, a war and you kill somebody, or you don't declare a war and you kill somebody, they're still dead. That's it doesn't a very matter. good point. Yeah, good point. The, 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 the results are the same. It doesn't matter. The point is, is that the, those people wanted the very same thing. He gave a le- he wanted a, a wrote a letter to President Roosevelt and said, "This is what I want for me helping you. You know, help us get our independence from France." Is what they wanted. That's all. The, the very same thing that we, our founding fathers, wanted from England is what they wanted, and for 10 years it was nothing but a bloodbath. Unbelievable. As long as we keep on meddling, imposing our beliefs on other people, I mean, we're all different in the face of this earth. 
I mean, we live in the best country as far as I'm concerned. But, I mean, people have the choice to believe in what they believe. Uh, whatever floats their boat is fine. Just don't come knocking on my door is the bottom line here. You know, we have to take care of our country first, our own people, and then let's, you know, help whomever needs our help or ask for our help. Allie, but as, I'm sorry? No, I, I'm just wondering why you're such a hater. <laughs> wow. I, I, I don't understand it either. I mean, I was just... You're crazy. I, I'm, 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 I'm even Hispanic, believe it or not. Oh, now, now you're on a yeah, two-watch list crazy. right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and Republican at that. Yeah, oh, well, now we have to watch you three times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep an eye out on me because I might just go off the deep end on you guys. Thank you, sir. Thanks very much Thanks, for the phone Tom. call. 458-TALK is the number. Good morning. This is Patriots Lament. Who's this? Lisa. Lisa, good morning. What's on your mind today? Yeah, a people who ignores that Islamo-fascist jihadists have already declared war on Israel and America will soon have their boot on their head. Thanks. All right, thanks for the comment. Was that a quote from the Bible or what? No, I, I, I just... Yeah, that was from... You remember when Jesus First told us Lisa to part. go and go and kill in his name? Do you remember that part? Was that yeah. in First Lisa chapter 3? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, come on. You guys are... You're, you're making mockery no, of... of yeah, some, mocking something that's stupid. I, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That's all there is to it. Who cares if Iran's declared war against Israel? Israel kicked their butt. As people... You know, here's, she wants to say... Here's another little phrase... Those who do not know their history are doomed to repeat it. You think that Iran doesn't know that Israel kicked everybody's butt that's gone to war against them? The only time they don't win is when we intervene, like I said earlier, with Hezbollah. How about when three nations came against them? Three nations? Exactly. They, the whole Middle well, East. How about country. when six nations came against them? I mean, they, they've done it every single time. They've been attacked. They have defended themselves. And, and they take six days, oh, not wait a six second. years. And what have they years. done in retaliation? Have they gone out and, and tried to impose an Israeli-style democracy in Jordan or in Egypt or in Iraq? No, we're doing it. For no, we yeah, we've been doing that. Oh, there you go. Gentlemen. And actually, we haven't been imposing U.S. style democracy in Egypt. Uh, we were paying what thirty billion dollars a year to impose dictatorship. Oh. And to Saudi Arabia, right? Gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We support Saudi Arabia, who pro who uh, prohibits um, uh, preaching uh, the gospel on the streets. And who we defend and, and protect them. It's bizarre. More terrorists have come from Saudi Arabia than any other country, and we give them money. I can already feel the boot. Is nope. that what's on my head? We are actually at the end of the show, gentlemen. Uh, contact information, Dave. Yeah, uh, patriotslament at gmail.com is the email, and patriotslament.blogspot.com is the uh, website. KFAR Fairbanks, 660 AM, online at kfar660.com.